Hey, what is going on everyone? It's a great day to be here, and today I want to talk about trying new things. And you're just like, trying new things? Dancy, what the hell are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is pretty much a lot of people that I know in my life right now, I realize they're very, they're very complacent. They don't really change what they do. They've been doing the same things for many years now. And I mean, I've known a lot of my friends since I was either a teenager or some even before that now I'm in my mid-twenties. And they still are the same exact person. And, you know, for some things that's okay. There are certain qualities that you do want to keep and certain things that you do want to do throughout your life and that, that are good and that's great. But then there are other things that people don't want to move on and, and try new things there. They're like, it's almost like they're they're scared to try new things. So, being that I'm a, primarily a video game channel, maybe, to, maybe we'll talk about uh, trying new video games. I know me, for example, I, I post mostly Call of Duty. That's what you guys like to see. But just because that that's the primary game that I that I put on YouTube for various reasons, one it is one of my favorite games. I do play Call of Duty more than probably the, the probably about the same amount that I play my other games combined, but also it makes for more entertaining gameplay, I think, than watching my Skyrim videos, which, even though it's a very entertaining game for me to play, it could be slow at times, as well as other games like The Walking Dead, which I see you guys don't watch as much. But yeah, you could branch out and other video games. There are tons and tons of other video games out. I actually am going to go pick up Borderlands 2, and I'm going to go pick up uh, Resident Evil 6, probably either tomorrow or Monday morning. I don't have... Uh, I don't have work, as and many of you guys don't have school as well because of Columbus Day. So thank you, Crystal Ball Columbus. So we, I could get off and I could probably pick up some of those games. I mean, Resident Evil is one of my favorite uh, game franchises of all time. I love Resident Evil 4. I wasn't big on uh, Resident Evil 5. Let me take a sip of water real quickly. I wasn't really big on Resident Evil 5. I mean, that was great, but the Resident Evil series as a whole is one of my favorites. So I'm going to go pick that up. It's something I haven't played in a while. And what else? And Borderlands I've never played, so that's going to be something new for me. Alright, so let's move on a little bit. No more talking about just video games. There's other things that I'm thinking about of what people don't like to try new things. And food. Food is a major thing. I mean, honestly, for me, I was a very picky eater for a very long time. I was a picky eater probably until I was about, I would say, 19 years old. And the first thing, the first really adventurous food that I ate was probably uh, sushi. And I was like, ugh, sushi, raw fish, what's wrong with you? Why the hell would you put that in your mouth? You're freaking disgusting. And then, uh, I, I had a girlfriend that ate it quite often, and she was like, just have a California roll, it's not even real sushi, it's imitation uh, crab meat. So I was like, alright, whatever, I'll have that. I was like, you know what, that wasn't bad. So, sushi for me was like a gate, uh, California roll was like a gateway, uh, sushi roll for me to get into sushi. And now I love sushi, I'll try any roll there is. I'm like, oh, what's that? I don't even know what it is. They'll have it written in, uh, you know, Japanese, just pronounced, and I'll be like, meh, let me try it, we'll see, we'll see what it is. So I'll try whatever it is, sushi, shimi, and it's, it's really opened me up to trying new things in general. Actually, tonight, I'm going out for my girlfriend's birthday, and we're going to go get Indian food. And actually, honestly, the first time I had Indian food was with her, uh, maybe about five, six months ago. She's like, you want to get Indian food? And I was like, ooh, I hear that, uh, that messes with the bowels if you're not used to it. But she was like, nah, it won't be that bad. So I got it, and yeah, it didn't really mess with me too badly, and it was absolutely delicious. And I'm really happy she, uh, she kind of, I wouldn't say coaxed me into doing it, but suggested that we should do it, and it was fantastic. And you really need to open yourself up to uh, different cultures. I mean, I'm lucky enough that I live in New York, and we have some of the, we have, we're such a diverse community in New York City, and there's so many different places you go, and so many different types of food, and it's all, it's a lot of it's absolutely fantastic. So, I mean, obviously, if you live in certain places, it might not be as easy accessible to try different things when it comes to, like, different cultures, food, and stuff like that. But, you know, you, you try the best you can and try to branch out a little bit rather than just eating, uh, you know, eat the same old crap when you go out with burgers and fries. Like, my friends, they eat burgers and fries smothered in ketchup. I can't fucking stand ketchup. I used to love ketchup, you know, as a kid. These are things that you like as a child. They're, they're safe, so you stick with them. But as you get an adult, you should try to branch out, you know. Maybe uh, test your palate a little bit. Oh, Thai food. Thai food is great as well. If you guys haven't had Thai food, you really have to go uh, start doing that. Thai, actually, I, I, Asian food. It's literally it's Asian food. It's Indian, Thai. It's, it's fantastic. Sushi, uh, Japanese just sushi. It's great. Alright, what else can people try that try that, you know, try something new that they never, they generally don't branch out is uh, music and movies. See, music for me, I started to branch out really in high school. When I was in junior high school, I pretty much listened to top 40, you know, pop music, and I listened to some rap music, and that's pretty much what it was. So it was like top 40 and Eminem and uh, Wu-Tang Clan and stuff like that. And as I hit high school, I kind of started to get more into uh, rock music, and uh, rock music, metal, and even classical music. 
So for me, it took me a little while to branch out, but when you start meeting new people and they start putting you off to different things, you know, you, you start to, um, you know, see things in a different light. Uh, same thing with movies. In movies, when I was, I was a kid, I just pretty much watched what was what was popular, and then when I got into high school, people started turning, turning me on to all these great movies like Pulp Fiction and Clerks and all these, these things that, you know, more of independent type films I never even heard of, and I was like, wow, I really have been missing out on all these things. Actually, my, my stepbrothers were two of the big uh, people that helped me get into that because they, they were really into film, and uh, actually they have their degrees in film now. So uh, hopefully that will uh, start going well for them. They graduated a few years ago. It's tough to find, uh, you know, steady, steady jobs and that, so they're pretty much freelancing. But, uh, yeah, so they got me into that. Uh, what else? Okay, this is this is something that a, a, a lot of people don't do. It's like, in, it, it could go for college or high school, but, you know, try to vary up your courses and your classes. I mean... In, in high school, I, I started taking a lot of different types of gym classes, like weight training, and um, I was in band, and uh, handball gym, and all these things. Handball. Like, what the fuck is handball? You don't really see handball outside of New York. You might see it in California, but other than that, you won't see it in many places. But yeah, you tr try to uh, do different things. Leave your comfort zone. It, it helps you grow. It really does. Um, what else? The college courses. I take plenty of college courses that, that were never at my major um, it was just one of those things. It, it, it really it gets you thinking a different way. It's always nice to think critically and think another way and, and, and to get out of the ways that you do. Oh, there's a funny kill the end of the game. Put this guy in ball scratch mode. Kill this guy long shot and that's the end of the game. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. I was trying something new by not talking about the, about the gameplay really at all. So, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Tell me about some things that you've tried new recently. I would, I'd really like to know. I love getting comments from you guys. It's actually the best part of this for me. All right, so like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys soon. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a like. It really helps the video out, and take care, guys.